Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own. Then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. All right, third grade, welcome back. So this question is a multiple choice question and it says, which of the following is not a multiple of five? So we're going to have three that are multiples of five and only one that is not. So we gotta be careful. I like to box that word not just to make sure my eyes focus in on that. Okay, so a multiple. We can determine multiples of five by skip counting by fives. Okay, so that would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and so on. I see that our highest answer value stops at 65, so we'll stop right there. But our multiples of five can carry on forever in the positive direction. All right, so looking. Which of the following is not a multiple of five? Well, five is a multiple. So should we keep five or eliminate it? Eliminate it, because we're looking for the one that is not. It's right here. Okay, what about 30? Is 30 a multiple of five? Yeah, it's located right here, right? Six times five is 30, so six times five. That makes it a multiple of five. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? We need to eliminate it because it is a multiple. Okay, what about 52? I see a five right here in the tens place. Is 52 a multiple of five? No, you can see right here, we skip from 50 to 55. The cool thing about multiples of five is that there is always a zero or a five in the ones place. Zero or five in the ones place, that makes it a multiple of five. So this one is not a multiple, so should we keep it or eliminate? Let's keep it, right? I'm going to put a, a question mark right there. And then D, D says 65. 65, which is right here. So that one is a multiple of five. That would be five times 13, actually, because five times 12 equals 60. So five times 13 is that next one. That's just a little bit of bonus. So should we keep D or eliminate it? Let's eliminate it because it is a multiple and we're looking for the one that is not. So we've done all the hard work. We've kept, we've eliminated three of our answers. We have kept C. So let's go ahead and make it official and bubble it in. On a computer-based test, you would just make sure that you marked the correct answer that you select. It. Okay? All right, make sure that you have all of these notes copied on your paper, and when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.